like the Press Magazine here with Sophia Vichafanye, our winner on day crash. two of Major Taylor Cross Cup in Indianapolis. Her, so. You've That's won two days in a row crash. now. Tell me a little bit about how today so went. Yeah, today went well. The start much, was really hard. Emma Schwartz, she gave it, oh man, she was on fire. Um, it was fast racing, lots of people. Um, yeah, it was. I think it was a good spectator race. Yeah, going into a lot of this, it looked almost like a road race with a pace line off the front, like a breakaway or something. What was going on up there? Yeah, I mean, I think we were all content to have four people working together. You know, there's a lot of flat sections. Um, we were definitely fighting every time we would get to the off-camera and the hill section. And, uh, yeah, it was just attack after attack after attack and uh, made it a really hard day out there. And you... There was a obvious changing of positions in the front group for the whole race. It looked like for some of the race you were in the front, for some of the race your teammate was in the front, for some of the race others were in the front. When did it stop being a group effort and when did it start being a, a all for one race? The last lap. Uh, I think it was, you know, I dropped back a little bit in the middle of the race. I had a mechanical to me not long to fix but I got it all sorted and so I had to do a lot of chasing to get back up there but once we realized no one could really drop anyone it was uh, definitely last lap everything all out every section and you said that you had a mechanical what happened there oh I just misshifted and you know the, there was a descent over there that was really bumpy and I never took the time to buy a it's chain okay. guide Nearly for my bike and my chain and total like my error for misshifting at the wrong time. But I think I dropped back to seventh maybe and it took me a good lap to be able to catch back on. And you chased back to win the race. What was going through your head while you were chasing that? I just wanted to pedal hard. That's really like my goal at every race is pedal hard and give everything. And you never know what could happen. And uh, once I caught back on, I made sure to recover and then uh, just kind of waited to see how she, things would shake out on the last lap. And my teammate went and then I countered and, you know, we were able to go on too. And going into the barriers, the group was still together when when did you get away from them? I think actually right Eric before Bruder, the barriers and maybe had a little gap. Yeah. yeah, I had just a small enough gap um, that by the time I think I crossed the finish line, it was like four or five seconds maybe. And now that you've won two days here, what does that mean? Um, it means I get to end my cyclocross season on a really All good right, note. Uh, I am done after this weekend. I need to focus on mountain biking, start training and racing in February for that. Sadly, next year I maybe will do two or three cyclocross races on the road. So, uh, it's a good way to kick off my short cyclocross career. Oh, really? What's, uh, what's going on next year? Uh, trying to uh, qualify for the Olympics for Argentina on the mountain bike. That's going to take precedent. You're going to put Cross on the back burner for a little bit. Yeah. yeah. So you potentially finished for a period of time with two wins in a row. What's, it, what's that mean to you? It's really special. I've yet to, this is my first time in any race weekend with two races that I've won twice, either on mountain bike or cyclocross, so that's really exciting. And um, Yeah, I mean, I worked really hard this year, so uh, I was definitely excited to get back-to-back -back wins. Mm. You got that this weekend. Congratulations. Hey, thank you. Thank you.